A mist was hanging over the fine buildings of the Scottish capital this morning. The result of the referendum was decisive, but the consequences for England were, like the weather, far from clear. Do you think this whole exercise here has woken the English up to the fact that they don't have the yeah. same level of devolution as Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland? I think the English have actually been very tolerant to see so much devolution to Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. But now they see it, now with this referendum, they are rightly demanding more devolution, more decentralisation within England. So in England, some clarity on the matter, at least according to the leader of UKIP. He posted letters to the 59 Scottish MPs demanding it was time they stopped voting on issues like health and schools, which affect only England. Oh, we're, we're going to get loads of replies, I'm really confident. <laughs> the vast majority of us in England are pleased that the union has been maintained, we really are, but we felt throughout this whole devolution process that we really have been the poor relation. We've been ignored. David Cameron insisted the unprecedented changes to the Constitution for England will go at the same pace as the new powers for Scotland. That means firm proposals by the end of October and by Burns Night in January a draft bill. But it's unlikely the legislation will have passed before the general election in May. It could mean the 650-seat House of Commons will sometimes sit without members from Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. That would leave 533 English MPs debating a subject like education. And based on the last general election, that gives the Conservatives a majority of 63. Which is about time, said English Tory MPs today. What we need is to take a quick, cool and hard look at the whole shape of the British Constitution. But the English now demand and require a voice uh, in just the way that both the Scots and the Welsh were given a voice. And with justification, the First Minister of Wales today said he wants a say on this. So too, the First Minister of Northern Ireland. The Tories might be trying to rush this through. Labour, however, certainly is not. Consider Ed Miliband winning the general election next year. He might not be able to get any legislation through if that becomes an English parliament on certain days and is still dominated by English Tories. Lots for all four nations of this union to reflect on. Chris Ship, ITV News, Westminster.